Welcome to this edition of Train for Aptitude. In today's session, we look at the sixth concept on the problems of trains. The problem is as follows. Two trains running in opposite directions cross a man standing on the platform in 27 seconds and 17 seconds respectively and they cross each other in 23 seconds. The ratio of their speeds is 1 is to 3, 3 is to 2, 3 is to 4, none of these. We could visualize the scenario as follows. Train A moving at speed SA kilometers per hour is moving towards a platform on which an individual is standing. Train B moving at speed SB kilometers per hour is moving in the opposite direction. The assumption as usual is that the trains move at a steady pace throughout the journey. The trains essentially overtake two things. One is a person standing on the platform and second is each other. This visualization shows what happens after train A has crossed the individual and also the other train. We note here that the dimensions of the individuals being negligible, the distance covered to cross him would be nothing but the length of the train itself. In order to cross each other, the total distance that the trains would need to cover is the sum of the lengths of each of the train. Let us look at how we can solve the problem. We begin with looking at what data is available with us. It is given that the train A takes 27 seconds to cross the individual. Train B takes 17 seconds to cross the individual. The trains take 23 seconds to cross each other. Let us denote the length of train A by LA, length of train B by LB, the speed of train A by SA and the speed of train B by SB. From the question, we would be required to find SA by SB. We first begin by calculating the length of each train in terms of the time taken and the seconds required to cross the individual. The length of train A is nothing but 27 which is the time taken to cross the individual into the speed which is SA. Similarly, LB would be 17 into SB. The ratios of the speed of the train could be found by realizing that the total time taken by the trains to cross each other is nothing but the total distance divided by the relative speeds. That is, 23 seconds is nothing but LA plus LB divided by SA plus SB. By substituting for LA and LB from the earlier equations, we would come to 23 minus 17 SB is equal to 27 minus 23 SA. Therefore, SA by SB is 6 by 4 or 3 by 2. Let us try to generalize. Like every other problem, we begin by looking at what data we have, the time, the length and the speed. As a next step, given that we already know the time to cross the individual, we can easily use the remaining information to ensure that we have only two variables to deal with. Given that the answer is nothing but SA by SB, we would attempt to represent the lengths of the trains LA and LB in terms of the speeds of the train that is SA and SB. Given that the trains travel a total distance of LA plus LB to cross each other, we can represent that as the time taken into the relative speed. We extend the equation gained in step 2 and substitute the values from step 1 and then simplify to realize that SA by SB is nothing but the difference in the times that the two trains would take compared to the total time. Thank you for watching Train for Aptitude. Do not forget to encourage us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking the Facebook page.